Following a year of pandemic frustration and a grassroots campaign led by Republicans, today the Secretary of State says it has validated enough signatures, more than 1.6 million, to trigger a special recall election targeting Governor Newsom. CBS 13 Steve Large is live in Sacramento with what happens next and when voters could hit the polls, Steve. Yeah, and this announcement was widely expected, but now it's here and it's happening, promising California politics in the year 2021 will have lots of twists and turns. Recall reality. We must remain vigilant. The California Secretary of State's office announcing the key requirement for a gubernatorial recall election has been met. Gavin Newsom, if he wants why this recall is happening, he needs to look in the mirror. The one and a half million signatures now validated sets up what is expected to be some wild campaigning. As in California, anything's possible. Steve Maviglio served as spokesperson for Gray Davis, the last and only California governor to be recalled. That was in 2003. And you got to remember, in 2003, there was no social media. So now you have a lot of people just trying to take advantage of it for publicity purposes. I mean, we had porn stars last time. We had comedians last time. We had students last time. I think you're going to see that whole array of a clown show expand. So far, only 10 candidates have filed statements of intention to run in the recall election, including former Olympian and transgender rights advocate Caitlyn Jenner. Businessman John Cox and former Congress member Doug Osi. Yeah, we won't know for real until September who actually is going to get in. I would expect 300 to 400 candidates this time around. The LA Times reports some experts put the taxpayer cost of the election at $400 million. Uh, every politician lives in fear of this, and they should. Once ballots are drawn up, voters will be asked two questions. Should Governor Newsom be recalled? And if more than 50% of voters say yes, who should replace him? Just the recall is that. qualified. Be prepared for a massive new crowd of California political candidates. And there's no exact date for when this election day will hit, but it's looking like it'll be in October or November. And if Governor Newsom survives this recall election, keep in mind, he'll have to run for re-election all over again next year in the general election in 2022. Yeah, well, it will be something to see. All right, thanks, Steve. So what comes next in the recall process? Well, there's a 30-day signature withdrawal period, followed by 30 days for the Department of Finance to estimate the cost. Then the Legislative Budget Committee has 30 days to review that report and comment on the estimate. And once that is done, the election date is set by the lieutenant governor within the next 60 to 80 days. And when this story broke, we asked you, should Governor Newsom be recalled? 50% said no, 48% of you said yes, 2% are undecided. You can chime in now at CBS13.com.